Hello guys, welcome to Shukununu Bold channel. This is Shuku's mom. Like, subscribe and comment. Mm. The more you do that, the more we are going to love you so much. <laughs> Don't worry about my speech. I've copied somewhere. <laughs> Like this is Dev <laughs> Lopman. <laughs> so I'm not the first one to do like that. I've copied somewhere. You know, when you want to party, sip it. That's too young, So just view. Every step what she's doing to her mom. Mm. That's good. Congratulations, my dear girl. I love you so much. I love you too. Mm. 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 You see, <laughs> they say like father like son. I say like daughter like mom. Yes. Yes. <laughs> she copied from me. Everything what she's doing. You know Girls are puffing their mom and doing whatever style they can do. I'm happy. I'm not lonely with my girls. Bye bye. Subscribe and comment. The more you do that, the more God will bless you. Thank you. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. If you are new, welcome as well. So, um, yes, <laughs> welcome. Um, you had a hell. I had a long intro and I hope you enjoyed that. So the first thing that I'm going to do is to go in with this shaver to clean her tail. Also to make sure that her brows are on shape. As you can see the other one you guys like it's nah. So now no. So what I'm doing is to go in with a brush to make sure that what I'm doing it is, you know, clean. So I want to make sure that all the brows are in line. <laughs> wow <laughs> she just uh, so yeah she disturbed me so what she's basically saying is uh, saying because i went in with the sunlight um uh soap she's asking me if i always have the drama in my head to do that but yeah so i'm using the sunlight to actually make sure that her brows are in place more like a setting um gel for her brows so the next thing that i am going in with it is this mod setting spray i am just going to make sure that i prep her skin because her skin because her skin it is so dry you guys like i want to make sure that everything is on point so what i'm using now is this toner by clicks and i grabbed it before the lockdown that is because i didn't find my own toner that i use usually so that's all i found it's actually a very good toner it's alu so i'm going in with aqua cream you guys i know there's a lot of steps but you need to make sure that your face is prepared before you go in with any product so i am going in with this aqua cream i want to make sure that her face is glowing and stuff so now i am going in with this pencil and i got it from the chinese <laughs> Is that racist because apparently anything like that has a word Chinese it's racist so I am NOT trying to be racist I got it from a I think that is a better word so I'm gonna use this pencil to draw your brows as you can see you guys I'm not rubbing the brows I'm just drawing them in so I'm going in with this this DCX <laughs> what am i saying it's um lip balm it's like a lip therapy it is so nice i got it from clicks as well it was about 99.99 something like that it is so nice it's minty it repairs it's like it's better than the lip therapy from this chem i'll be honest with you i know i've been using it a lot and it's it's my favorite but it is better than the lip therapy so i'm going in with this uh super stay foundation this one is in color chestnut i'm just gonna use it to clean her brows and to make sure that you know i am creating a base for her eyeshadows to stick 
I'm using my old brush, you guys, that I got from this game. I think I need to get a new one. But so yeah, I'm using that brush, the fat brush, to make sure that everything is clean. It is on point. And the color that I'm using on top of her brows is the very same color chestnut. And I mixed it with the very same foundation in color cocoa. So you want to make sure that the brows are clean and stuff. So yeah, that is how we are looking. <laughs> yeah, well. <laughs> so what she's trying to say right there you guys she was asking me like what what exactly is she like the color what exactly what is the exact color of her face and i was like I, man relax we are not gonna be looking this white so we're going in with this hammer of low palette as always i am so obsessed with this palette because i use it for everything literally so I'm going in with that color. Uh, the first thing that I did is to concentrate on the outer part of the eye just to pack it. And then after, I am using circular motion to blend the eyeshadow and like the forward and back um, motion. Now I'm going in with Angel Face to put it on top of that color that we placed before more like creating a transition and also to make sure that the colors are blending now i'm going in with this reddish it's like a reddish brown color and i'm just gonna top it on the crease most directly where we put our dark brown on i just wanted this brown reddish neutral look i don't know but i guess you guys understand so what i'm doing is to just blend everything together that's all i did now i'm going in with the color called brow it actually you guys i actually forgot this palette has names <laughs> how could you how could you so yeah i'm going in with brow it to you know give the eye a bit of dimension like i love that so i'm just gonna use the other side of the brush i'm always switching the brush this brush is by color and i got it from this cam so yeah you guys you can just run to this cam when you can after the lockdown of course and do that so the shimmery shade is the highlighter that i got from my um black radiance contour palette light to medium in color and i'm just gonna i'm using that color just to place it towards the front of her eyes so the next thing that i'm going to do what i was doing is to clean all the fallouts that with it it's not really much of fallouts just like cleaning so I am using a primer by Essence. It's their bulletproof. No, no. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> they are gym proof. I can't see a gym proof primer and i'm using a lot you guys um that is because i am telling you like skin matters so i really used a lot right there so now i'm matching the foundation that was uh, chestnut i matched chestnut i matched um la girl pro conceal the darker coco uh, cappuccino and um maybelline fit me color 360. <laughs> So you guys yeah i had to like just give it give you that part she was just asking what color of the foundation and i told her her color i hope she probably goes and buy that color oh i'm just gonna give it to her and the funny part is when she asked me aren't we using our hands <laughs> that was so funny so i'm mixing the 360 I'm using the color 360 fit me and the um chestnut and the and one by maybelline i'm just gonna list every product that i use down below probably you guys for you so i am just i used the beauty blender to blend and i went in with a brush to make sure that the inner corners are fully you know penetrated if that makes sense so i'm just gonna like lightly blend everything So 
so yeah boy. so to highlight her face you guys i'm going in with chestnut for her face if i didn't mention i used color cocoa mixed with the color 360 the um maybelline 24 hour wear is a bit matte and for a dry skin i wouldn't really recommend a very dry concealer but the 360 is runny it is not matte at all and so the mixture of the two is really suitable for her skin type so yep it was not even matte you guys so yes i am just gonna place it everywhere on highest point of her face and i'm just gonna use a beauty blender to blend everything so the next thing that i'm going in with is this black radiance palette and it's their contour and highlight palette and i'm gonna go in with the darker shade that you see on the palette so I'm just going to put the color on her forehead, on her cheekbones, on her lower, what is it called? It's lower cheekbones. <laughs> I don't know what it's called because, so yeah, basically everywhere where you'll see me place the product. So I am using a sponge. You see those triangle sponges? Yeah, I'm using that sponge to blend this uh, concealer and make sure that everything is blended because this concealer is so thick and it's not easily blendable so if you are not good with blending um, just make sure that you buy a more less thick uh, concealer to make sure that you know everything blends well So the next thing that I'm going in with is, is this powder. Although it's in a Yardley container, it is actually LA Girl Banana Powder. So I'm going to use that powder to lightly place it on everywhere where we highlighted uh, her face. So I am placing a little at a time. That is because you guys, I don't want to be intense with the look. So we are going to place this product everywhere where we put our highlighter. By highlighting, I mean wherever we put our lightest color. So I am using the very same powder, you guys, to put underneath the... Um, contour just to make sure that her bones her, her, her cheekbones are smashed so the next thing that we're going to do is to use this brow it is it brow it yes the darkest shade on the palette of hemis of lower and to make to contour what is it to set everywhere where we put our contour so the next color that we're going back in with is this called, color called angel face and you guys you'll hear a little bit of faces because uh, of voices because i'm at home of course so yeah it's not gonna be a clean video so um, i am using that color to sort of create warmth by like giving hair warmth back to your face now what do you do so going back to my black radiance um i'm just gonna take the highlighter on that contouring palette to highlight her nose her, her tip of the nose and her mouth <laughs> her lips and i'm gonna do her chin and i'm gonna use the resin brush to do her cheekbones and um you'll see that in a with time so before we do that we i am going in with the very same brush that i used to contour the face to clean the powder and i'm lightly tapping it in to make sure that everything is set you know so i'm going back to that highlighting color to slowly build the highlight and you guys the highlighter from this palette is not even intense like um i like to use it when i am not doing a very you know bright highlighting so yes I'm, and after i'm gonna use a, a fan brush to diffuse everything so the next thing that i'm going in with you guys is to use this brow pencil let's use this pencil that we use for my let's use this pencil that i use for my uh, for her eyes to outline her lips and then i'm gonna go in with um the, the black radiance I think it's number five it was b5001 it is this orangey brown 
color like it's so nice so it's not matte it's like oh so nice you guys i love i love it i love it it's been my favorite now so it's perfect for this look because i don't want her to be too bright so the next thing that we're going to do is her lashes and i'm going in with this maybelline voluminous mascara to just go into her eyes her eyes are so sensitive you guys so i couldn't really you know coat them too much hence we didn't even apply forces because uh, she just wouldn't like they're so sensitive and i was like you know what that is enough that is enough so i'm going in with this black radiance um uh brush to brush everything out any powders that i might have left so anything that i didn't really blend nicely and finally i'm going in with this mod setting spray and i was done with the look and and thank you so much you guys for watching please don't forget to subscribe to like and comment down below if you haven't already and i want to give thanks to my mom for having me for having her in my channel and yes you will probably see her one more time whenever maybe it will be a sit down so that you can get more of her character because wow Shuku, it's a little. Okay. Shuku, no bold.